Hey guys, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. If you are here from TikTok, hello. I feel like I'm a little bit nervous to be on YouTube because I'm just used to being on TikTok. I don't know what's different about it, but it kind of feels like a first date. Love you. Here's the tutorial. It's been forever since I've filmed on YouTube, but I figured why not film this tutorial? It's been my most requested tutorial for hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes, or if you don't, this is specifically for hooded eyes, but if you don't have hooded eyes, this is gonna work for you too. But we're gonna do this look right here. First thing I'm gonna start with is skincare. It Cosmetics Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retinol. I've never been one to use retinol during the day. Retinol reacts with the sun, so it's usually a PM product, but this one does not bother me and I love it, so. That's what I'm hydrating with. Also, I'm filming this on my phone. I do have a camera, but I'm not really sure how to use it yet. If like my eyes stop looking at the camera or something, just remember like <laughs> that I'm looking at my phone. And I just put the rest on my hands, on the tops of my hands specifically. Did you guys know Dolly Parton has tattoos? I was like, that is so cool. I bet like nobody has ever seen them, but like her husband. I'm eating peaches. Mm. If you're from TikTok, then you know that I start with brows. That's just how it works best for me. I have several products I've not tried yet. And the one that I'm going to go in with today is the Elf Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. It's really skinny, which is something I like in a brow pencil. And I always start out with an underline here. It doesn't glide on too easy, which I like oh yeah that's nice i always do this because whenever i make this face i don't want my arches to be weird so i always pay attention to what my brows do when i make every type of face i really like the appearance of the light to dark brow i love that look my ears are popping so if y'all hear that i'm sorry about it i think i figured out that it's um not really my ear it's TMJ and it just feels like it's in my ear. I always go get that checked out. Once the brows are filled in, I'm going to prep or prime my lid. I'm using Makeup Revolution concealer. Put just a little bit on my hand. I need to wax my brow and conceal those veins. I'm using the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia. The first shade we're gonna go in with is Dusty Rose. Just on a big fluffy brush, tap off the excess, and then the place that I'm going to concentrate this on is going to go from the outer corner, right? Everybody knows that. So we take from the corner of the brow down like that. Then this part is crucial. On your brow, pay attention right here. You're going to use this color right here. Place it right at the front corner and then drag it down like a down line. I'm gonna pack the brush again, same color, and drag it back and forth. And I'm gonna blend this. And now you're gonna get it right here too. Um, and I'm just using what's on the brush to just buffer it a little. I'm gonna use Rusty. And we're just gonna use a smaller blender brush I'm putting it on the outside corner, just like this. This is just building depth in the same spots. It's right there, barely touching right now. Leaving this part open. Back in with the same blender brush, and I'm just gonna dust over. So far, all I've used is three brushes, if you include the one that I lined my brows with. I go in with Dusty Rose. Make a straight line from your tail to your corner like that and we're gonna make like a v so you're gonna connect it from here down to here like a check mark that's a check mark nike swoosh just do it baby blend it together do that a couple times this is one of my favorite looks it's so beautiful i feel so pretty when i wear my makeup like this and this dusty rose color anytime listen if you have a green eyes it looks good on all eye colors honestly but if you have green eyes Anytime you see a neutral that has like a pinky, violet, purpley undertone, it's going to make your eyes look amazing. You see this part of my eye, right now what we're doing is we're pushing it back because it is hooded. So we're trying to make our eyes come forward and our 
um, hoods go back. And the way we do that is with matte medium tone shades. If there's one brush that I think everybody with hooded eyes needs, it's the Morphe M506. I'm not sponsored, but any smaller blending brush, like this is the size of a standard blending brush. This is a smaller one. This brush is a game changer with technique. Going in with Rustic, just like I did on the other. So this is just more precise, same location, right here down. That's the one thing about um, when you do a smoky eye, it's easy to get one eye darker than the other. That's usually what takes me the longest is like making the tones the same depth. They look matchy. Brows are different today. I didn't know that. That's better. Now on the outside corner, I'm going to go in with this Nord, this matte black and a short dense pencil brush dragging it just watch like how short my motions are and how focused i am on the bottom so i am going to drag it just a little up into that other depth if you can see i'll place some right there go ahead and drag it to the underneath notice that i'm just like dragging it down i'm not taking it upward i'm just dragging it down like we're not going past this point with the actual pigment itself you can see that shape it's like a boomerang kind of i've been loving this this came in my boxy charm it's called melted matte shadow melted chocolate and this is the shade cocoa cream and i am gonna do well the technique i'm using is just gonna be kind of like a half cut crease but i'm not keeping the cut crease part we're gonna open aggressively and then take a liner brush this doesn't have to be like perfect but you're taking a liner brush and you're gonna blend like this this is just creating the lightness where it needs to be and usually I use my finger to blend it, but I'm using a brush today. I feel like I'm on a first date with y'all because we're on a different platform. <laughs> now for the inner corner, I already did this side, but for the inner corner, I'm going in with just a flat, like, I don't know what to call this brush. It's from Amazon. It is in my Amazon favorites. If you're interested in shopping, it's in that Brush kit, I love that brush kit, but it's the number 20 in the Do You Care? Do You Care? I never even noticed that's what they're called. But I'm uh, going in with the shade Tempera, which is like a pale pinky bone color. And then I'm mixing it with the Dusty Rose. And I'm gonna just place that right over the area that we just put the melted shadow on. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of pat it. This is Lorax Eye Gloss Trio. I got this in a boxy charm also. This is the shade Seashell. I'm just putting it on there like that. You see how pretty? It's like a pinky champagne color. Wipe the brush off, the one you just used, and just, you know, go over it, blend it. Now we're gonna do a baby wing, and the way I'm gonna do it is, first I'm using the Stila Stay All Day. I found this at Walmart, which was surprising. And do you see this crease right here? Make a dot. I've done this a million times on TikTok. Make a dot, and then you're gonna just keep your eye relaxed. You're gonna fill it in. Just take your time. Eyeliner is not the main star of the show here. I want this to be as tight to my lash line as possible. So I just make the line thinner as we get to the inner corner. You see how thin that is? For the inner corner liner, keep your eye open. Do not put it on your waterline because that will make your eyes water. All you have to do to make a huge difference is just slightly extend. Do you see like look like I got my teeth out. Like that. And you do it on both sides. 
liner is done and now well the liquid liner is done i'm gonna be using the mally every color gel waterproof liner in o-n-y-x i can never say that word for my waterline i do pull it down just because i don't want it to get into my actual eyeball very gently though starting to look exactly like i want to look the faces we make jesus this little child. I can actually sing. I don't know why I pretend like I can't. It's called insecurity, baby. Sometimes I wait till the very end to put lashes on because I don't really like the way that they feel sometimes and I want to be comfortable when I'm doing my makeup. But I'm going to be using 614 Lashes by Salon Perfect today. Before I put lashes on, I'm going to coat my lashes in a base mascara. One little light stroke oh, that's what she said now you can go ham on the bottom if you want i need to know is go ham a common used phrase or is that an appalachian thing if it's an appalachian thing it means go all out or to use as much as you want have at it get freedom you know go ham it's to be extra pretzel now that the lashes are finished we need to go in with the under eye concealer area one of the biggest questions that i get asked is how do you blend your shadow in with your concealer i'm going to show you guys how i do that you need to make sure that your under eye area is super hydrated because you don't want your concealer to like be weird also i just lost this fingernail and i'm sad about it can we just not pay any attention to that product I'm using is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. You see where my purple is? This lash is lifting. I'm gonna fix it. But we're gonna just apply it directly to the purple. And on this side too. So if you have dark circles, only put it directly on the part of your eye that is dark. Just do this and hopefully that will stay. Lightly a bounce. Oh, do see bounce. And bada bing bada boom. You're gonna wait for a few minutes and you're gonna go back in. The foundation that I'm using today is gonna be this. It's actually tinted foundation by LA Girl. I'm putting it on the back of my hand first. I'm gonna mix it with the LA Pro Coverage. I don't know if these mix together yet. I've not done this, but I really like both formulas. So most of the time I just wing it. I think it's gonna blend. I think they're both water-based, so. Oh yeah, that works. That's really pretty, actually. Did I just come up with something? Ooh, I love the way that looks. It's really hard to get ready without music playing in the background. I've completely left out this centerpiece because I'm gonna use concealer there. If you film YouTube videos, give me some tips on how to pay attention without staring at yourself. I'm going in with the foundation and the same brush that I carved the under part of my brow with. Shape those puppies. Use the NARS Radiant Concealer. The in between. I'm gonna have to fix the inner corner of my lashes. They're both lifting. Here. Here. Pimples. I'm using a blender brush that I always use for concealer. And I'm kind of leaving out the edges right here because I want those to stay sharp. I'm gonna go back in and fix that. And I always add light to my temples because I want my temples to appear wider than my chin area. Going back in with that pencil brush again. This time I don't have anything on it. Carve out the very front of my brows. This fixes the messiness that might be there. This is the stuff that I kind of leave out in TikToks just because TikToks are so short. Just going over my face product. That sounds like a drum. Come, they told me. Pa -rum -pa -pum -pa. We're going back into the under eye area with that same brush that Cosmetics tapered all over. They did send me this product, but they did not ask me to do this. They just send me stuff. They're really cool, actually. They don't require you to talk about their product. They just want you to tell the truth if you do talk about it. I'm just going back and forth. So if you have creasing. If you don't have creasing, lucky you, you know? You go, girl. That's the best. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder under my mm -hmm. eyes. Just because I don't want it to be shiny under there like it is. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna be setting it with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium. I used to think, I used to think I had the answers to everything. Happy birthday, Queen. I used to think that I had oily skin, but I do not. 
I have normal skin. I was just using products that I was allergic to and I was stressed. So my cortisol was super high. Just going over all the parts that I didn't get with the translucent. Laura Mercier. Translucent. Started to feel glamorous, glamorous. Got that G to the L. I'm gonna contour my nose before. This is matte bronzer by, I don't know, Hannah Lay. I think that's how you say it. This little brush I've had since I was like 15. It's a touch up conceal brush. I think it's, yeah, it's by Essence of Beauty. And I'm just gonna go down. Baby, are you down, 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 down? I'm going down, down, baby. I can't do this without singing a song. I'm going down my nose, down the bridge. And then like kind of connecting it up here. Now we're gonna bronze it, baby. This is like a staple product for professionals and I've been in this field long enough and I've been doing makeup long enough to wear. I should have already tried this by now, but this is a new product for me. It's the NARS Laguna bronze. Put it on the perimeter, as I say. This is just a really nice neutral bronzer. So it's not cool tone and it's not like orange base. It's, it's neutral. So it's safe for everyone, a boy or a girl, or a they, or whatever you want to be, baby. It's good for everybody. I don't know how it would look on super deep skin tones. One of my favorites, I think it's called, gosh, I can't remember. I think it's called Film Noir at MAC. It's a blush. It's my favorite contour for deep skin tones. I look like I've been to the beach, baby. Next bronzer I'm using is Debutante by Morphe. Ba -ba -bum. Now, I don't even know if Elf still makes this blush palette, but I love this blush palette. Mix these two. Cause I find like this area and I swear on. Blush has a tendency to oxidize. So when you put it on, I'm sure you've noticed later in the day, it's not as bright, that's why. So I put it on slightly brighter than what I would typically wear. I love that, it's so pretty. My favorite highlight, especially for skin that's aging or if you're age conscious, like my Botox has completely wore off, which I'm sure you guys can tell, but I love the ambient incandescent light by Hourglass. I'm about to show you guys how pretty it is, so I'm just gonna swirl. And I'm using the Morphe M509. And where I put it is on my cheekbone, so look right here. It literally looks like your skin is glowing from the inside, which can be a really hard thing to achieve with highlighter. A lot of times highlighter looks like it's icing. You don't want it to look like it's icing on a cake. You don't want it to be that obvious. You want it to look like you drank like a ton of water that day. I'm gonna take some of this Fit Me powder. I get from the top of my ear across and down. It just gives you a crisper look. The lip that I'm going for today is Rebel Rose by Wet n Wild. I just put the Milani Cosmetics 29. It's called Sweetie lip color over that because I wasn't really feeling it. Sweep this away. I just finished my hair off camera. I put that on TikTok, so if you want to know how I fixed it, go watch that. But anyway, thanks for being here. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Yeah, I also put some gloss on because I'm just not a fan of matte lips anymore. It used to be all I wore. By the way, let me know what you would like to see in that video. Maybe a Q&A, maybe a get ready with me. I hope you have a great day or evening or whatever time it is where you are. Lots of love from me to you. I'll see you in my next video. I'm starving. So I gotta go find some. If I can't put a uh, copyright of music in the background, I'll just sing it. I am a poor boy to ba -rum -ba -bum -bum. I'm 100% never using that lash glow again. It doesn't work. Like, it just, it was like a fake. Happy birthday, Britney Spears. I love you. I have no gift to bring. Pa -rum -pa -pum -pum. It's like a joke. That's fit to give a king. Pa -rum -pa -pum -pum. This is not a good liner. Still go to Taco Bell, drive through Rose Hill. Rum -pa -pum -pum. By the way, the peaches I eat are sh the ones that don't have sugar in them. Rum -pa -pum -pum.
hate to tell you, but you need to pick yourself up and try again. <laughs>